Hello YouTube. Today's video, let's call it ulti. U-L-T-Y keeps going down. And this stock is about two weeks old and I jumped in on the opening day at $19.70 per share and it's already down to $18.99. So this stock um, had a couple days where it pulled back. Um, yesterday was 82 cents. So it has had some major pullbacks and the gains have not been offsetting that. So the question is why? And when it comes to these positions, especially something like Kony, which is a yield max, also a yield max uh, ETF, this stock tracks Coinbase. So when I see Kony is having a bad day and it's pulled back 13 cents, all I have to do is go over to the Coinbase stock and see what's going on. And I can see that today it's down $1.37. And then I can even go down and see what's happening in the news, right? Uh, here's uh, all kinds of news stories just from today. Now, this one story says Coinbase bear camp is shrinking. So I don't know why, if, it's, if the bear camp is shrinking, why the stock is going down. But at least I have a place to go when I see that Coney is going down. So when it comes to ULTY, I don't know where to go because they hold currently 21 different holdings. So something is tanking in the uh, you know ULTY holdings list and it's not real convenient to um, dig in and find out what exactly is causing the stock to pull back. So I, I'm making this video as an apology to Corey because I reached out to her and I said, you know, here's the problem. Ed, can you make a spreadsheet to fix this? And just a little background, Corey, she does the daily ulti videos that, you know, keeps us all up to date on what is this new stock doing? And her videos are extremely helpful. But the thing about her is that she is a spreadsheet expert and I've seen her do amazing things with spreadsheets. So I think that everything could be solved with a Corey spreadsheet, right? So I apologize uh, because she's very busy and she um, maybe she could solve the problem eventually, but she's got a job and she's, uh, uh, you know, she's got uh, some military um, stuff that she has to do on the weekends. Um, she's a reservist is what I'm trying to say. So, and she's got a family, you know, so Corey, I apologize for asking you to solve all my problems with a spreadsheet. So, uh, what I came up with is a temporary uh, workaround. So um, I want to know why Ulti is going down. Now, this is probably stupid because what's really important about Ulti is not so much the share price, but how much is it going to pay us in dividends at the end of the month? Because it deals with the 21 holdings that are extremely volatile so that there is a chance that it will pay a, a very large monthly dividend, which will in turn make up for this, um, you know, uh, pulling back of the share price. So I need to be patient and see how this is all going to work out. But in the meantime, I can't help but want to know, why is this stock going down? So what I did was I went to the um, Yield Max website and I downloaded all of the holdings this morning. Now, these holdings are going to change, so I'll have to keep an eye on it. I plan to download the holdings once a week, maybe. Uh, we'll see how often these things change out, but they have changed some of these holdings since inception day of the fund. So what I did was I made a simple watch list, and I'm sure that all of your... Um, all of your brokerage accounts have some kind of watch list capability or there's there's many aftermarket products and some free products that can you can quickly you know prepare a watch list so I took all of those holdings and I put them in a simple watch list and now I can just look down the percentage of change and I can see which stocks are headed down and which stocks are pulling my holding of ULTY down so we can see that this stock here, Medicine Minded Inc, 
never heard of them, is down 6.24% or 52 cents. So this is a big reason that the stock is pulling back. Now I can see that other stocks are doing well. GigaCloud is up 12.65, but I suppose that the negatives are outweighing the positives. Um, uh, it's looking like at this time, I'm not seeing that. So what we have is a delayed reaction because when I was in here earlier, CleanSpark was down 15%. So I see that it's recovered, but again, these holdings are extremely volatile and that's why um, Ulti, Ulti, Ulti is down 72 cents. So now that I say Ulti is down 72 cents since uh, the day that I purchased it, I'm being ridiculous, right? Stocks go up and stocks go down. So I'm going to try to not sweat the details. But I can't help but be curious, and hopefully that this will be a good solution uh, for me. Of course, this is not financial advice, and I don't recommend that anybody buy this stock or listen to anything I say because I'm just a retired car mechanic that puts out videos uh, for my own entertainment, and I hope that uh, they'll entertain you at the same time. So, Corey can't solve all your problems with a spreadsheet. You two... ULTY is going to go down from time to time, and we'll just have to ride it out and see if the dividends um, you know, compensate for these kinds of losses. So I thank you for watching. I hope that you'll like this video. I could really use a thumbs up, and I hope that you subscribe. And I have other videos that will hopefully be entertaining coming out this week. Thank you very much.